Fab cams, guys. Welcome back. We've got Dave next. Uh, Dave, um, I think you're in the same boat as me, really, with this, because obviously we, we're talking as group after the game, before game, at all time. Uh, and we're saying a bit disappointed, really, in that. More to, the, more to the point, really, we should have took advantage of that when Stoke went down to 10 men. Yeah, I think I think um, Callum Cooper said it best on Nightfaller. It feels like a loss, and it does, mm. you know. And I, I, there's plenty of positives to take from tonight. Don't mm. get me wrong; there are plenty of positives, but oh, it should have been three points. Mm. And you know how vital points can be. And two lost tonight can be end of the season. Though it's a long way off, but yeah, it's disappointed. I am disappointed with, with yeah. the result tonight. Yeah, well, we said it. I mean, me and James did uh, last live watch along together because there are obviously new restrictions and everything, uh, which is a ball ache. But we were saying, like, how Stoke had not played. You know, if we'd have said before game Stoke could have 11 men and the play, we expected a better mm -hmm. Stoke's team to, to, to come out, we'd have took a point. But where we saw Stoke, and then the, when when the, they went down to ten men, it were almost as if they were there for teching, and we just couldn't seem to. I don't know what it were. No end product again. Wrong decision making when we got into that final third, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Re it was really frustrating. Um, I've not seen Stoke play this season, so I didn't know what to expect. But mm. you could tell from the first fifteen twenty minutes that we were the better team. Mm. They looked slow. Uh, especially around the defence, they you know if we'd have run at them more, I think mm. we could have we could have put a, a lot more pressure on them and maybe scored a few more goals. But mm. you know we did what we had to do. We took we took the first, we took the the lead. Um, you know that was that was a great goal. Um, Wonderful really goal, well. yeah, yeah. Um, and we needed to push on more, but after that we let them get back into the game like we do on so many occasions, mm. and they just. I, there was nothing between the two teams, you know, throughout the game, even when they went down to ten men. Mm. But we just, we just seemed to sit back after we let the, after we got the first goal and um, we let them back into it like we do. And then, you know, it was obvious when it was going to happen, and it's <laughs> a lapse in defence for me. And they've come in and they've scored, and you know, it's it's one all again where, you know, you you want to get into half time in front. Fortunately, um, heads didn't drop. We responded absolutely fantastically, mm. and well, that second goal was a it was an absolute brilliant piece of football. It was uh, first ball throw, then by Moet. That ball in was superb, and the finish by Freeze was just it's it, it was just magic. Mm. It's, it's difficult to put that ball away, and he's taken that absolutely brilliantly. And for man who's done. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, time. yeah. I, w I was just going to say, I was just going to say, Dave, you have been a bit of a critic of Freezer, quite rightly as well. I don't think he has, you know, done anything really since he's come in. But, you know, I think, I think he, you know, <laughs> to be critical, but even tonight, he's got that goal and I don't think anything else really is he's been involved in. But, uh, you know, as long as, he, you know, he were playing up front, so that's his job. He scored that goal. It's a wonderful finish. Uh, and maybe now, do you think that might kickstart him a little bit, maybe? I was hoping that, and then, like you've just said now, yeah, um, yeah, it's not really. Surely, spent tonight. He put a good ball into. I can't remember if it was Williams or Britain um, in the le later ends of the second half when we were, we were attacking. But um, yeah, he's he's not done a lot tonight, but he's he's been effective, and you know, without that goal, we we would have lost. So mm. hopefully, he can get him a bit of confidence. You can see the difference in Woodrow tonight. You know. Yeah. Um, the goal he got a Saturday, he's obviously filled him with a bit of confidence. He took that under immense pressure. And he's been all over the park tonight. He's been my man of the match by a long, long way. He's mm. been on down the left, down the right, he's been in the centre. And he looks a completely different player. And, um, yeah, I, I still think we need another, another, another body up front. Mm. And I've been talking to people tonight and we've got to go out and get Rudy Gestead for me. It's, mm. it's got to be done. We need someone mm. like that, a physical player. Who can find the back of the net? Mm. Uh, well, I've heard we are looking, as far as I know, but whether they're coming for uh, Millwall is is another matter. But yeah, I think it is clear to see because, like, when yeah, I mean, I, I was listening to their commentary and uh, they were mentioning all of their bench and it absolutely bench were absolutely uh, every, almost every one of them had, had a fit into our team. Like when when sometimes our subs come on, we need them subs to all, almost make a quick impact. You know, when Thomas came on, didn't really it wasn't really effective really um, Schmidt didn't even touch the ball um, I felt like when Palmer went off I felt 
that was probably the perfect opportunity maybe to see Matty James come on. Uh, Matty James, I'd have probably started him tonight if I were in charge, but he didn't start, didn't come on. But I think, James, I think we do need to see because we've not got to forget, we haven't got him for long either. So let's uh, take advantage of him while he's here. I mean, if they're not fit, I've said it all, always before, if they're not fully fit, start them and then take them off. Uh, but yeah, I, I, don't, I think, I don't know why we didn't see James, to be fair. I don't know, um, Saturday, Palmer and uh, Mudo, I thought they both had good games, but they mm. were lacking in fitness, which is why they were taken off. Mm. Um, I thought uh, the first half today, Adore was, you know, he, he played pretty well. And the second half, he just seemed to, I don't know, I don't know if it was a, a confidence issue from not playing, whether it was a, a fitness issue from not playing. Um, I'd like to see him take some more chances on goal for a start, mm. but I think... Um, he, was, he wasn't very effective in the second half like he could have been. Mm. You know, we were in the ascendancy, we were attacking. But yeah, when Palmer went off, I thought I'd done a good game. I really like the look of him. Mm. Um, yeah, bring Matty James on. It's a perfect situation to bring him in. And if he's not fit for the game, then he doesn't make the bench. Mm. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I don't understand why they put him on the bench. And that is the perfect situation. With, with 10 men at 2 2, mm. in that scenario, it's a perfect time to bring him on yeah. and see what he can do mm. and we know what he can do from previous experience they haven't done that which was again poor decision making for me uh, Luke Thomas has come on and he's done nothing again he wasn't mm. in the game Schmidt wasn't in the game when he came on but we've said that on many occasions and he's yeah. popped up now and again and put in a few important yeah. finishing touches for moves and he's so yeah I think um, the Matty James one was baffling I don't know why he wasn't brought mm. on I really don't well maybe hopefully we'll see him on Saturday mate I mean We've got to find a win from somewhere. I mean, we've got not got a bad record at Millwall, but uh, yeah, I think I think now we do need to start seeing wins. Do you think maybe, like uh, Luke said in his chat, it maybe looks as though it is slight, slightly coming together as such? I, I think I do agree with him, to be fair. I think we are seeing glimpses of it all slowly coming together. Yeah, I, I said Saturday, I said it was a, it was an improvement um, from the, the Strubri era. Mm. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. You know, changes... You know, big changes don't happen very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Saturday was an improvement, and regardless of you know, I think um, dropping two points tonight, I think uh, the performance was better. You know, we got to just tidy up um, some, some of the passing. You know, some mm. there was some sloppy passes. Yeah. Some of the decision making, but it, it is headed in the right direction. Um, whether the new manager is going to alter that, I don't know. It's. Uh, it's a bit of a strange one, but we, we have we have come on from Strew believing. Uh, we, we've played better. I really thought we could have won tonight. And I really expected us to go on after the sending off and get that third goal, but we didn't. Um, we just need to keep on persevering. Mm. Um, Britain, I thought, had a great game today. Yeah, great um, debut. I, I've said that. You said Woodrow we'll Man and right. Match. I think he, I, I, if I were getting it, I, I would have probably gave it to him. I thought he were very, very solid tonight. For his first game for us, really good. There's been lots of good performances tonight. Um, Jordan Williams, uh, I'm a big fan of Jordan Williams. I like uh, I like the way he plays. He's not had the best of games tonight. Mm. Um, it's been a few hold your breath moments in defence. Um, yeah. <laughs> the one thing at the start of the season was my confidence in the defence, and it's been it's been shot in the last two games since we've mm. gone. It just seems to have, you know gone downhill, and it just. And um, that Walton mistake was just... Mm. Oh, just... Avoidable goal, again, just after half-time mm. as well, which, you know, We're same possible. as Saturday. Yeah. To, for, so, uh, yeah, I think it's them little errors out of his game and, like you said, his passing as well. I think once that clicks, hopefully every, the wins start coming. But, yeah, we would have took a point before, but then when you look at it and them going down a 10, it's a massive opportunity really to get uh, to get three points but uh, we'll move on mate we'll move on so all right then guys well that was dave uh thanks for watching and we will probably have dave if dave's free for tomorrow's preview for millwall uh are you free dave dave will dave will be free dave will be free brilliant all right yeah. then mate well pleasure to speak to you and i'll speak to you in a bit all right likewise cheers buddy see you mate see you in a bit <laughs>